Hello, and welcome to Trimble Ag. In this video, we will explore new features that improves the way you create boundaries and adjust headlands. With our latest enhancement, you'll experience a significant boost in efficiency and accuracy in your field operations. With the new feature, you'll no longer have to redrive the field perimeter to utilize headland guidance patterns with varying implement sizes. The new procedure simplifies the process of creating headlands by using any boundary as a foundation. The new procedure also simplifies the process of repeating headland creation. Imagine creating a boundary with a 30 foot disc and basing the headlands on it. Later, when you return with the 60 foot planner, the headlands can automatically adjust to accommodate the different implement size. Say goodbye to the hassle of manually readjusting headlands. Recognizing that the boundary of the field is typically stable year to year. We've elevated it to the foundation of the entire process. This means that the boundary, which is less likely to change, now serves as the fundamental building block for creating headland guidance walls. By embracing this approach, re-streamline your workflow and empower seamless headland adjustments to match varying implement sizes without compromising precision or efficiency. With the new changes, you are also able to use GPS positioning when recording your boundary. This ensures accuracy of the boundary and improves efficiency. Furthermore, by utilizing Trimble Ag's cloud solution, AutoSync, you can effortlessly save and share your recorded boundary across your organization, enabling other vehicles and operators to benefit from the high accuracy and effort invested in creating these boundaries. In this video, we will cover how to make headlands with an existing boundary, how to edit headlands, how an implement width changes headlands, and how to record a boundary. First, a precision IQ tip. It may be helpful for the user to have simple boundary next to basic guidance in the guidance editor drawer. You can do this by long pressing the six dots on a drawer to move it around. You can also hide or unhide tools in the guidance editor drawer by going to the guidance editor drawer settings. Now, we will demonstrate how to create headlands from an existing boundary recording. Select the field that has the boundary you're wishing to add headlands to in the field tile. After the field is selected, go to the run screen. Select the guidance editor drawer. Select the specialty guidance dropdown. Select the headland icon. Choose your boundary from the dropdown. Select Generate Headlands. Here is where you create headlands based on your boundary. Enter the number of circuits, the swath width of your current implement, and your turn radius for sharp turns. Select the guidance pattern to use as infill. This has to be a guidance pattern that was made from this field. You are able to add infill to headlands later through Field Manager guidance patterns, then select the headland. Select create when done. You will now see your boundary with headlands. To view or use infill, tap the swath swapper button to activate the guidance pattern that is your infill. Because of the new boundary structure, it makes it really easy to change headlands on a field. If you decide you need three circuits instead of two, you can change this by only pressing a couple buttons. Select the guidance editor drawer. Select the specialty guidance dropdown. Select the headland icon. Choose your boundary from the dropdown. Select generate headlands. Enter three circuits instead of two. Enter the swath width and turning radius. Select your guidance pattern for infill. Tap create when finished. You will now see on the run screen that there are three circuits for the headlands now. This feature also allows for the headlands to change with different implement sizes. For example, these headlands were created with a 24 foot field cultivator. Later this fall, I want to use a 30 foot field cultivator instead. On the Precision IQ home screen, I have the 30 foot field cultivator selected as my implement. When I tap the run screen button, a swath with mismatch window appears. This window says that the current headland swath on the field 
is 24 foot when my implement swath is 30 foot. It has an update selected, which means it will change the headland swath to 30 foot to match my implement. Select apply to change the headland swath and enter the run screen. The updated headland swath will now be shown on the run screen. To automate these changes, you can have the headland swath automatically adjust to the implement swath without having the mismatch window. Tap the guidance editor drawer, tap the settings button, scroll down to the bottom where it says auto adjust inner boundary. Tap the slider to enable this feature. Headland swaths will now automatically adjust to your implement width. We will now cover the process for boundary creation. On the Precision IQ run screen, tap the guidance editor drawer. Select the simple boundary dropdown. Select the record button. Remember, you can use or record any basic guidance pattern to assist you while recording a field boundary. This is recommended in order to create more accurate boundaries, generate field lines to be used in subsequent operations, and to make headland infill lines that you would want to use in later operations. The power of this is when fields have known headings that make up their edges, it is useful to use A plus lines to assist in recording accurate boundary edges while the machine is engaged on the line. If the edges are not straight, it is still important to record any AB or curve guidance patterns that you may want to use for later operations while the operator is doing the first working pass at time of recording the boundary so that after creating the boundary, you can immediately go to work without having to redrive any field edges manually. You attempt to not just do a mapping run on the first loop around the field. If you're trying to make accurate straight edges or emit obstacles in your boundary recording, remember to put the boundary recording in pause until you come to the point where you want to actively record every position again. Pause will snap a straight line from the first pause position to the position the implement is in when the recording becomes unpaused. This is common when users want to make squared off corners in a boundary recording instead of driving through the corners and leaving a corner radius. For this demonstration, we'll be using A plus guidance by opening the basic guidance drawer and selecting A plus. Complete one revolution around the field. You can disengage from guidance and still record the boundary as needed. With auto close enabled, the boundary recording will auto close when the implement fully enters the starting circle. Auto close can be enabled and disabled in the guidance editor drawer settings. If auto close was not used or the user closes the field before reaching the auto close circle, the user will be presented with a boundary completion workflow. You will now see the boundary you have created. There are no headlines on this boundary at this time. To do this, select the specialty guidance dropdown from the guidance editor drawer. Tap the headland button. Choose the boundary from the dropdown. It will be the boundary you just recorded. Tap Generate Headlands. This will be the same workflow as before. Enter the number of circuits, swath width, and turning radius. Select Infill. For this demonstration, we will use the A plus guidance pattern that was used to record the boundary to also use as infill. Tap Create when done. In this video, we discuss new features around boundaries and how they make your workflow smoother. We demonstrated how to make headlands from a boundary recording and also how to record a boundary. Thanks for watching and check out Trimble Ag's YouTube channel for more videos.